A Feynman reverse sprinkler is the opposite of a regular sprinkler, so it sucks water in instead of blowing water out. An S-shaped sprinkler like this will move away from the bend, so this one here will move counterclockwise. But what do you think would happen if it were made to suck water in instead? Would it still spin counterclockwise? Would it switch directions and spin clockwise? Or would it stay put and not spin at all? The first physicist to write about the problem of the reverse sprinkler was Austrian physicist Ernst Mach, and he made this contraption that he illustrated here in 1883. When you squeeze the rubber ball, air flows out and it moves away from the bend, so this one here moves clockwise. And when you release the ball, it sucks air back into the sprinkler. And Ernst reported that the device showed no distinct rotation when it was sucking. Then in the 40s, apparently unaware of Mach's work, the Princeton Department of Physics started debating the problem. And a young Richard Feynman set up a reverse sprinkler experiment in a carboy inside the university's cyclotron laboratory. He even mentioned the experiment in his memoir, Surely You're Joking, Mr. Feynman, but he didn't even mention the results. But then after he died, two separate people who were there wrote about what happened that day. They said there was a little tremor, and then the sprinkler head rapidly moved back to its original position and stayed there, so it didn't spin. So far that's two experiments with no distinct rotation, what's up with that? So if I blow on this straw, it creates a jet of air that hits this bend and comes out in a uniform direction like a fire hose. But sucking on it doesn't propel the straw forward or backward. One key difference is that the air being sucked in is coming from all different directions. If I put my face in front of a fan, I feel a jet of air being pushed through the fan. But on the other side, I don't feel air getting pulled through. And that's because it's not directional and the air is getting pulled from all around. So sucking is far weaker than blowing. In fact, when the experiment is done with really good bearings and a fast inflow rate, the sprinkler does move in the opposite direction, just way slowlier. So instead of moving this fast with the air going outward, a reverse sprinkler with really good bearings moves only this fa fast, slow. This, this slowly. <laughs>